who's the executive producers of Happy Time for ABC Television. Um, who are you guys? You, you just kind of snuck up on us. Excellent. 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 So can you talk a bit about the genesis of the idea for Happy Town? And you know, Happy Town was an idea that um, we were sort of kicking around. We, we've, we did a, a couple of shows for ABC prior to this one. We did October Road and a series called Life on Mars. Uh, thank you very much. We did too. Um, we were a little heartbroken, but we loved it. Um, and uh, we were kicking around some ideas, and uh, you know, we were talking about how there generally isn't really a murder mystery on television. Um, they're the, the procedurals, they're the criminal intents and the CSIs that are sort of crime of the week oriented. We spend time at uh, crime scene investigations, but what happens if you go into a small town and you, uh, you bubble up the underbelly of a dark history on this very seemingly happy town, a town that's been at peace for many years, a town with no crime. Um, and that's sort of where it came about, and, you know, a lot of it came from the human drama side of it, you know, what happens, what happens when people are comfortable and all of a sudden they're taken out of their element and they're forced to reveal truths that they had hidden years and years and years ago. Um, and that's sort of how the drama plays out, it plays out on that front of uh, a, a murder occurs in this small town and um, after it occurs, um, it forces the revelation of information that people don't necessarily want to give up. It starts to expose the, the ugly underbelly of this town, a town, again, with, with a very dark, very sinister history. So would you say this is an updated version of Twin Peaks? Um, I think the Twin Peaks is definitely... Um, I was a huge fan of Twin Peaks. Um, I don't know. I, just, I, I think it's been off the air for 20 years. <laughs> um, I only know that because I remember watching it in high school. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I mean, it's an inspiration, but it's a very different show in the sense that Twin Peaks, um, I don't know that we're quite as out there as Twin Peaks is. I think that we're a little bit in the Stephen King world, um, with the sense of the Americana underneath it. We're not bizarre for bizarre's sake. We are, uh, and I say that again as a, a fan of Twin Peaks, we are a show that wants to explore sort of the human drama behind it. So, uh, but Twin Peaks is definitely an inspiration. Can you talk about a little about the creation of the town and how filming on location kind of helped with what Haplin is, like how, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime you film on location, um, you get a greater sense of authenticity as to being in a place. We filmed in Toronto, mm -hmm. um, which as soon as you leave sort of the Los Angeles environment, it sort of changes everything. It, it makes your cast into one big family, which in its own weird way creates a town off camera. Um, we filmed in St. Catharines outside of Toronto where we filmed some of the fair scenes. Um, I think going into a small town definitely informs um, the mood and the feeling. Um, you know, you see you see that people know each other. You see that, you know, you stop into the local deli to get a cup of coffee while you're filming a block away and you realize that people are talking to each other because they know each other. And so it, it definitely it definitely informs the mood and the vibe. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I got two questions. First one is, have you guys researched any towns where this does kind of happen, where you have very quaint, very small towns that do get rocked by a murder and changes, you know, yeah. did you guys look into those type of cities? You know, we didn't, we, you know, I, I read, I read the news, so, um, you know, these kinds of stories are in the news. We didn't want to get, um, I was talking to, I was talking to a, a, a writer and a director a couple of days ago, and I, he was working on a, a, a script based in historical events, and he said, you know, I've been writing it for so long and I've done so much research, I'm getting bogged down in the truth. And uh, I think for us it was very good that these things happen, but murder is murder is it's sort of universal. And when uh, when people lie, that's a universal theme as well. So while I understand it, we didn't we didn't actively do any research in a specific town. Though interestingly enough, um, we filmed in uh, Port Hope, which is about two hours north of Toronto. And while we were scouting Port Hope to shoot the pilot. Um, Port Hope, which is this tiny little town up there, a beautiful town, um, they had actually incurred their first murder in that town about four or five days prior to our first visit, and it was actually a young girl had been murdered there, and we were like, oh, wow. the town actually was like, we're not sure if we want to take this content suddenly with what happened, but uh, so those weird things, um, and I'm just as a fan of these weird coincidences, not a fan, but being horrified by them. Um, the opening sequence that we filmed on that frozen lake uh, where the murder takes place, um, that weekend, 
after we finished filming that following night, uh, a family uh, died on the lake. Um, the ice, we were out there filming, and actually the ice broke uh, as they were coming home on snowmobiles and went right into the water. And, uh, uh, so there's been a little bit of weird, weird darkness. That, of course, the minute that kind of thing happens, the crew is all abuzz and people start fleeing. <laughs> 